Hello everyone, welcome to part 20 of the Rockdale project. Last time around I made it to the amazing milestone of Megalopolis. Now, let's see here. There's my thriving megalopolis. Now, last time I gained a plot, and under the stock rules, this is the last plot I can purchase. And, you know, that's, that's fun and all. But if you note here that uh, uh, there's this uh, mist thing around the edges here. That's the edge of the actual map. So... Uh, you can't actually go past that. There is a mod where you can get all of the um, all uh, all twenty five possible tiles. Um, I may bring that in if uh, if the uh, if I continue this particular city. I think I probably won't though. Um, I think I'm going to try and solve the mess over here. And you can see with the abandoned buildings and everything. Um, and maybe my big traffic mess that I created over here. And then I'll probably call this particular project done. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean I'll be completely finished with uh, skylines or even videos. Um, what I uh, what I will do though, uh, if I make that call, is I'll start over fresh. Now I've removed the forest specialty over here, so I'm going to actually just clobber this stuff here. is yes, this stuff wants uneducated workers <laughs> and I'm not sure that uh, that's a good fit for a city with a high education level But even so, I think if I remove a lot of this stuff, it can, it can respawn and it might be uh, saner. I see it's respawning with... Um, Apparently, the specialty wasn't actually removed. Uh, let's see. No specialization. Okay, now it's right. Okay, so now it should respawn with uh, regular industry. Uh, so I'm going to... fill the roads in here and the zoning 
Whoops. Okay. Now I don't have a huge uh, industrial demand going, but I think realistically uh, this should uh, this should work out fairly well. Now where's the power coming from? It's not complaint. Oh, it's coming from over there. Okay, so I can get rid of this power line. And this. Where's the power over here coming from? Huh. Okay. Now, over here, uh, on the last part, I was talking about expanding this to a roundabout uh, interchange to get rid of these intersections here. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to pause the game while I do, because I'm going to be really messing with traffic. I'm also going to need to upgrade this road, but I can't do that until I can move this um, garbage tip here. Okay, I think I'll have to clobber that and that. I think I'll have to go back further here. Okay, now I'm going to grab the large roundabout. Again, I'm using the large roundabout so that I can uh, avoid having to draw a circle. Okay, and that actually fit nicely. I might just leave that. Okay, I don't need these stubs here. I might leave that too. Nah, I'll um, draw the road in directly. Okay, from the uh, end point here. Wait up. What happens if I just delete the road altogether and then just build it here? That'll work. Okay. I can live with that. Now, I need to link up my highways. Which, if I recall, I built it straight, so it should just be a straight shot. And I should be able to do the same thing. Apparently not. Let's try it from this direction. Apparently that's not going to work so well. All oh, right, I need to elevate it. That's why it wasn't working. Okay.
There we go. Okay. And now for the ramps. And I'm going to make bigger ramps because I'm expecting heavy traffic. All right, I need to Oh, it's an autosave, okay. There's one ramp. There's another ramp. There's another ramp. And whoops, there's another ramp. Okay, that's an interchange, except for the ramps going the wrong way. What? Why can't I? Okay, I guess that'll have to do, because it's being a dick about it, I guess. Okay. Now that I've built the interchange there, I have some zoning to do here, along here, and also here. Okay. Now, I can start up the simulation again. Now, speed it up, so hopefully things can adapt. That does seem to have settled the traffic a bit, so... I'm going to... I'm going to leave these relief ramps here for now. Now, now that I've done that, I'm going to go check on things over here. And so far, so good. There isn't a huge stack of abandoned buildings over here. What would be useful is if it would say why it was abandoned. Right, okay, so the next thing I'm going to fill in over here, 
I'm going to do... Whoops, I need to put this back on so I can build me a grid. Okay. Now, I definitely need a bigger road. coming out this way. So, here we go. Let's build one. Okay. And I'll bring these roads out. If you're wondering how realistic this sort of long block is, it's not so far off realistic as you might think. Um, in Calgary, where, where I live, uh, we have uh, some of the older parts of uh, the uh, downtown area have really long blocks in one direction and short blocks in the other. Now, I need to think a bit about what exactly I put here. I'm going to, initially anyway, put commercial along here and in here, close to the big transportation so it can get its goods. I am also going to put residential down here Um, realistically, I'm going to need education. And I'm going to go for, well, health care is good. Uh, fire, obviously, would be a good thing to have. Well, fire protection, not the fire itself. Okay. And put in a couple of parks. And now more places for people to live. Now I'm going to check on the various indicators. Um, Electricity, I could probably stand to expand the supply some. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. That should be plenty of electricity. 
water is treatments starting to be on the edge so now actually let's take a look at this again If I grab this one, I can potentially build a hydro dam. Or if I grab this one, I could do the same thing. But you really want to make sure your sewage comes out downstream of any dam you build. I'm wondering which one I should go for. I'm going to go for this one, I think. Sure, why not? Okay. I apparently didn't quite get enough water in over here. Okay. There we go. That'll solve that. Now. What I'm going to do, how many sewer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight of them. I have lots of money, so I'm just going to do this the easy way. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And one more. Now, I obviously need to get power here. this way. Okay, that gets the power there. Now I need to link these up. And these ones. There we go. Okay, now I can remove these. Okay, so over time this uh, pollution here will move downstream.
Of course, these people don't have to deal with looking at it anymore either. The uh, pumping stations or the treatment plants. Okay. Oh, wow. That was rapid population growth. Okay. It means I had substantial migration inbound. And I'm okay for water for now. Low land value. Okay, I clearly have a road capacity problem there. Okay, hopefully that helps some. Oh, I know it might help some too.
Wow. Oh. I'm hoping that helps with the traffic. Ah, yeah, that would be an issue. Huh, I still got a gravel road in there. Well, that's not needed. Okay, so I created a traffic problem over there, but yeah, yeah, unsurprisingly, I've made a traffic problem over here, too. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
I need to move a building or two here. Okay. Okay, now let's see. And I need to move the park. Okay. Ah, what's here? Crematorium. Okay. There we go. Now, what have I got here? A school. Okay. And what have I got here? A hospital. Okay. fire station. Okay. There. That gives me a fairly large road across there. which may bring a little bit less traffic coming around on the highways. I think I'm going to just relocate that. And... Yeah, no, it's in here. Track. Okay.
I'm still not sure on how to deal with the uh, traffic issue here. Um, what I am going to do is uh, upgrade this road here. What's this? Too few services. You know, I think I'm going to give up on on that traffic thing there. Um, what I'm going to do here is uh, select the proper road tool In here, I'm going to have offices. And some commercial stuff. Now, I need to put some water here before everything has a conniption. It's going to want this stuff.
Yeah, demographically things are doing okay. useful. Now just for a lark, now that the water's cleared out here, I'm going to build a dam. Oops. Oops, I've managed to create a flood. Well, if that's going to flood, no point zoning it as anything. Now, let's see. There's quite a current toward the uh, water pumping points.
So what I'm doing is I'm taking water out upstream of the dam and I'm putting water back in downstream of the dam. Okay, so I think that's working. I'm going to let it run for just a bit and see if I can hit the 100,000 population. Um, and, you know, just for a lark here. I'm going to connect the dam up to the road. The road's not going to go anywhere just now, uh, but, you know, it gives a way across the river. Okay, and just to give things a bit of a boost, Okay, it looks like I've hit something of an equilibrium around 99,200.
Well, there's 99,800. Ninety nine nine. There's a hundred thousand. Okay, so I'm going to um, basically end the part here. Now, that's a uh, 100,000 people, and I've got all nine plots that I'm allowed to have on the stock game. But as you can see, there's still quite a bit of area inside the city limit. So I could probably easily uh, triple or quadruple this population. I'm not going to in Rockdale though. I'm going to call this the end of the Rockdale project. Uh, I'll say making a hundred thousand people makes this a successful uh, project. Um, and I've learned quite a bit about playing the game itself over the course of this particular project. So what I'm going to do uh, for my next uh, Skylines video is I'm going to start a new project on a different map and uh, start things out fresh with some slightly better planning, some better road layouts, and try to avoid as many traffic snarls as I can. I'm also going to plan for the public transportation system. That includes both the buses and subways, as well as the cargo trains. I'm going to uh, arrange it so that I have a uh, right-of-way set aside for each of those so that when it comes time to retrofit things when the uh, technology is available and when it makes financial sense I have somewhere to put it. I'm also going to plan the uh, backbone uh, transportation infrastructure better uh, for instance on this one this little highway here you know is a great idea but it really needs another cross piece about here that's high capacity um, and I think that's part of the uh, problem I've had here with traffic and I think it's part of my problem with the abandonment and stuff over here because this is too far away from the workers so I, I just need to lay things out better anyway that's it for the Rockdale project on part 20. And I'll see you all back next time with a new project that I haven't named yet. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and thank you for watching. Oh, I am going to. What? I am going to save this. Ah. Uh, just in case I decide to come back to the uh, project another time. So, um, there we go. That's, uh, that's it for the Rockdale project. Thank you for watching.